whenever we are analyzing our google analytics report every time we see like uh, our data has never been accurate maybe because our team is visiting our website so many time and developer is doing some internal work that is why our google analytics report never been accurate so we need to filter out all of these internal traffic in our google analytics 4 so first we need to define our traffic and then filter out all of these internal traffic so if you want to filter your internal traffic then let's get started and i'll divide this video into like three simple step first we will define our traffic and then filter out our internal traffic and step number three we will add some additional settings parameters and add some variables in google tag manager so we can enable our debug view mode because right now debug view mode is not working in google analytics 4 if we exclude our traffic so that's how this video is work so let's get started now first of all go to your google analytics 4 account and select admin and click on data stream and if you have multiple data stream then select your website and now click on configure tag setting and here we need to go to the internal traffic and click on create and enter your rule name enter your maybe your office name your place name and here you need to define the parameter value and i'll still remain internal and here we need to enter the ip address so click here what is my ip and uh, here we need to enter our static ip ip version 4 and copy your ip address and if you have like multiple team member you can add additional condition also and you can also filter your traffic by like ip address being like started and ended so here i am selecting ip address equals and click on create so that's how i'll define my internal traffic now step number two i need to filter out my internal traffic so i need to go to the data settings and click on data filter click on create filter internal traffic and enter your data filter name click on activate and active filter so that's it that's how you can filter out your all the internal traffic and if i visit my website again and i go to the debug view mode And here you can see our debug view mode is not working because of right now GA4 is still on development. So if we filter out our traffic, then debug view mode is not working. So we need to make some additional changes and add additional filter and some container in Google Tag Manager so we can enable our debug view mode. So let me go back again to the admin section and again click on data settings data filter and this time create additional filter developer traffic click on activate and activate your developer filter now now if i go back again and visit our website and refresh our website three to four time and go back again to the debug view mode 
we still can't see any activity here so we need to add some additional parameters additional setting in our google tag manager account so go to your google tag manager account and click on admin section and click on import container and select the container i will add this container link in the description so you can download this json file and now click on existent workspace click on merge overwrite and confirm now i made some changes in my google tag manager account and now i need to replace the google analytics for id click on the tag and replace your google analytics for id click on save and submit click on this preview mode now click your google analytics id and if you click here page view here you can see the traffic type is developer and if i go back to google analytics 4 debug view mode let me refresh my website again because sometime google analytics 4 take time to display some data and right now it is like in heavy development so sometime it will take like a uh, lot more time and if i see here you can see some page views here and here you can see the traffic type you can see here traffic type is developer so that's how we can filter out our traffic and we can enable the developer mode also if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and if you want to watch more video regarding google tag manager google analytics 4 then please hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one